today I'm going to strap on the GoPro onto my chest here and I'm going to do a PV, uh, POV for the first time I'm doing a POV video I'm here at Budrum Falls so I'm going to strap up go down there start of the week we had over 200 mils of rain so I wanted to be down here earlier because the flow over the waterfall would have been amazing but hey I got a new camera the Sony a7 IV so I'm taking it down there to have a trial with it and play around with it but I'm looking forward to it and also I'm going to try and do more POV videos if this works out so let's get into it strap up get the camera out and let's head down there stay tuned guys all right so we're off hopefully the um, audio comes up pretty all right on the uh, um, GoPro so there's no other cars here at the moment so uh, that's good stay out of the water dangerous debris and the contaminants after heavy rain yeah because this flows from I don't know where but uh, so here it is the Sony a74 and I'm running the uh, 24 to 105 lens on it um, after watching a oh, there's another car coming but oh well. um, after watching quite a fair few videos um, on full frame cameras and the Sony systems and all that um, I decided for my first lens and my medium lens um, to start with the 105 uh, the 24 to 105 um, this is the G Master one, so it's aperture of 4 right through to the 105. Um, I didn't go with the 24 to um, 70. Uh, so, but yeah, um, this is the new camera. And we're heading down to uh, the falls. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear it on the GoPro, but... Um, the falls are flowing i could hear it up at the car now it's not a very far walk there is two um two entrances one's a little bit further away from the falls um i haven't been to that one so one day maybe i should uh, really find that second entrance and walk up but i like going to this one because it's pretty straight down to it um but yeah i took the i got this camera two days ago now and I took it out for a bit of a um, photo shoot yesterday trying it out wow that, f that water is flowing um, and yeah I got some good shots that I was quite happy with um, if you follow me on Facebook you'll probably see them on there and it's the same my uh, Facebook page is the same penguin abroad so yeah let's let's go for a quick wander down here just be very careful because this can be quite treacherous and slippery at times so just remember guys just take your time be safe all right just watching this path yeah we've had a lot of rain um oh ow something's in my foot Oh, sorry about that guys just caught something sharp in the toe but wow that uh the sound of that waterfall must be really still pumping oh careful she's still really wet here we gotta also be very careful because for some reason my ankle and my knee is really sore this morning but hey I just don't want to hurt myself. So guys, in the comments below, if you want to see some more point of view, PVO, um, POV, sorry, <laughs> point of view, POV videos, um, write in the comments, because I'll do more of them. I'm going to probably try and get into a bit of street photography and stuff like that. So I might do some um, POV videos of that. Uh, when I do my nature ones, I can do POVs as well. But 
this is uh, the first POV video that I've, I'm doing, I've started, so hopefully I can get um, better ones. If this one turns out really bad, who knows? I don't know until we get home and we edit them all. But I do love this place. It is magical. Oh, being with a lot of rain too, there's going to be another little waterfall coming down off here. I'll show you in a second. So yeah, a little creek thing up there that runs all the way down there. And then it'll go down there and then over there, there'll be uh, another waterfall down the bottom. So we'll go and check out all the waterfalls today. Um, and we'll put the A74 through its paces here at um, the uh, waterfalls. But hey, look, at the end of the day, from what I can see, this is a cracking camera an absolute little beast so it's not the camera's fault of the ca if i can't get photos that's my fault that's not the cameras so i will not blame the camera i am learning a new system because i have come from the canon 90d to my first full frame and i picked sony um, and maybe on another video i'll get into the reasons why i change systems but for now I'm going from crop sensor to full frame and uh, gonna enjoy it. So, wow. Let's get up on the bridge across here and we'll have a look at the um, waterfall. You can hear it now. She's, it's not as big and impressive as what it was the other day. I seen a photo yesterday, uh, a couple of days ago of this in full flow. There we go guys, that is Badrum Falls from the, we are up on the um, walk, boardwalk here, but the other day when it was really raining, you had a big major waterfall there, some coming down this side here, so there's even a small one up the top there. There's some waterfalls up there, so after I finish down down here, I'll go up there and I'll uh, shoot some up there. At the moment, I'm the only one here, so I've got the falls to myself. So uh, let's let's see what sort of shots I can get. So it is it is about taking your time here. Oh, this area would have been flooded from when when it was raining. This is Budrum Falls from the bottom. I've done a lot of shots in the past right there, up there, which I'll probably do today. I'll probably try and get some nice photos here. I'll get the camera really low to the ground and everything like that. I normally get some shots from here, which I'll probably do too. Oh, well. Normally I go stand, uh, I set the tripod up here. I get a photo up there, so I'll probably do that too. Oh man. The water. Amazing. So. Oh yeah, this is. It's gorgeous. The water flow is just amazing. 
I keep scouting a little bit. Oh, not scouting. Just looking around as I normally do. Shots from different areas. And just got to be careful it's not slippery. Now, this flow here would be great. But realistically, I'd want to be like camera way up here pointing down so I can get the flow back up the uh, thing. So let's get started on some of these photos. All right, so I kind of moved a little bit into the um, into the waterfall or well, into the water flow here. Um, I got the I got it up pretty high, but it looks all right, sort of. The mozzies everywhere. Uh, so I've got this big rock in the way. Not exactly ideal. I can't really see all this, but with. The camera being down like that, um, I kind of have to move everything over that way. Now, I have got an L bracket coming so I can put it more center on my tripod. So just for today, I'm just gonna play with what I've got and how I've got it. And uh, yeah, let's um, get a few photos and uh, playing around with the, all the settings. I'm in manual. Uh, I've got a, I'm running a little bit underexposed because I don't want to blow out the highlights. Running F4, uh, I've got a fourth of a second. So let's, just playing around with everything this morning. Got mozzies flying around everywhere. Look at it. Alright. Running a two second timer. I forgot to turn off the uh, stabilization. Because I'm on the tripod and it's not moving, I don't really need the optic stabilizer on the, um, on the lens, realistically. All right, let's have a look at that. Not bad. Alright. I'm just playing with the flow guys so i'm playing with the shutter speed so i'm just playing with the water flow to see what one i like the best um in when I, when i get back home Have a look at that. I haven't even manual focused this, um, This, it seems to be pretty, pretty good.
the A74, then the 90D. The different sort of layout of everything and how the system works. So I just got to get used to it. So I might um might get out my filter. I've got a screw on one here, and I can just clip on. So I'll get my polarizer out, take a few photos of that, and then I might move up there and take some photos up there. So yeah, I might might move there, then some over there. I had another photographer down here taking photos as well. So she's over there. I'm going to try and stay out of her way. But um, I will um, get a shot there and then I might try some other shots over there. So let's see what we can do. And then I might, there's another little waterfall down over here. So I might go and have a look at that one. All right, guys, I'll be back with you soon. So I've just been playing with a new composition where I've zoomed into 70 mil, so I just zoomed in. And you can see, see here, running half a second, F4 again. And I'm bouncing between uh, minus one in the exposure. Uh, so I'm about a about a stop, just over a stop, underexposed, and ISO uh, on 50. Put polarizer on now. Um, the reason why I'm, I'm underexposing so far is because I don't want the the highlights in the water to blow out too far and make it hard to recover something nice. So see how it's really bright here. There's a hot spot. But it looks really nice. So um, I'll leave the camera there. The other photographer's gone elsewhere. Don't know where. But I might come up here and angle down and try and get a shot here wide. And I might go and play with a shot over there wide down low so I've been shooting down there and see how the camera's off to the side I don't really like that um, once that L bracket comes I can put it back on top of the uh, ball head I prefer it that way all right I might actually do a I might do a landscape photo from down there first while I'm here, take advantage of all the shots I can take, and then um, when I get home, I'll see which ones I prefer best. Whoa! So, I was just down there. I haven't moved far, maybe a couple of meters, but so I don't have I don't have the wide wide lens to get that in down here so that's all right because i'm focusing on that rock now that flow is getting blocked by the rock but hey it's still very interesting in the foreground uh, and then it kind of stepped up and then you got the waterfall so i'll step back down i just gotta be careful where i'm stepping and um so Kind of what I'm looking at. Uh, so running a two second timer, as always, so it's nice and steady. Uh, two second shutter, F8 this time, because I want to try and get everything in focus. Um, still around the uh, one to one and a half stop underexposed, because I want to make sure that the waterfall stays in um, in exposure, uh, not in exposure, not blown out highlights, sorry. So, let's have a look.
And that looks quite nice, eh? Now, the sun's come out a bit, so it's putting a bit of light on that top, and it is blowing out the top of the waterfall, but see if I can reduce a bit of that in post, but if not, it's okay. Not much you can do about it, but that is quite a lovely scene. I've never shot it this way before, so this is a new angle. But uh, yeah, and I go. I'm quite happy with that. I don't think there's much more I want to do with this shot. This is just really nice. Uh, I've zoomed this one into uh, probably about. 26 mil or something like that, but honestly, guys, quite a place to be this morning taking photos. It's only not even 6:30 in the morning. All right, I'll um, catch up with you again. So here we are, guys. Sitting at the bottom, and we're just trying to definitely watch the highlights to not blow out on the top of the um, waterfall because the sun's up and it's coming straight down on top of the waterfall. So, what's the setting? Uh, that one was shot at 1.3 seconds shutter. Um, F8 as well. And I'm running between the one and a half to two stops under ISO 50. So, yeah, not too bad. It could be quite an interesting uh, edit. So, and I'm zoomed in just past 24 mil. Uh, such a nice place. Still a lot more to try and take photos of, so let's get to it. So, I'm in the underneath the cave sort of thing and you can tell oh, I'm in there I'm taking a different sort of photo I haven't done this one before so but it looks really nice uh, I'm really underexposed by two stops running a, a one second oops. Running like a 1.3 second timer, still F8. Um, gonna really push the limits and see what I can do with this. I've only done a half second timer then, just because I want the water flow not to be so over dramatic. But wow, that edit's gonna be a, gonna be interesting. That edit. The water is pretty much kind of what I want. Ooh. It's really dark on screen and it's really dark, but I'm going to have fun doing a bit of an edit for that, I reckon. Play around with it. Be a bit of fun. Alright, uh, I don't think I'll do any more this way. Um, I might go down that way, or I might go up the top, so I might take a couple more photos while I'm in here. Why not? May as well, I got the time.
got plenty of uh, got a battery left. We got plenty of um, SD card space. So just take as many shots as I can. And when I get back home, go through them all. All right. I'm going to go down to the other waterfall now and um, see what's down there. Just talking with that other photographer that was here. Um, she seems like a really lovely lady. And she's starting to get into photography. And the, and the amazing thing is, she's actually shooting my old camera. She's shooting a Canon 90D and she's loving it. So that's always good to see people enjoying this sort of stuff all right so this is another section here um, up up when i was walking down i was telling you about that's the other waterfall that runs down when it's running so you can get quite a nice if you get on that um, point just there you can get a really good shot of that waterfall and the other waterfall. Um, don't know if I really want to get over there and take that sort of shot today. But um, yeah, it's really clean and clear and flowing real well down here at the moment. So just got to be really careful because it is really wet. I don't want to slip. <clears throat> yeah, it's always nice seeing that one running. Now, if I had a, I'm just playing around with what I can see in the viewfinder. That actually might be a really nice photo take. All right. Let's set up the camera. Gonna try and set it up. Still not sure of the composition. Um, It's a nice place, but I just 
don't know what I think about their image, really. Um, see, I'm really at, I'm, I'm at the widest I can be on this lens. I'm on 24mm. Um, wide angle would be great. But there's also a bit of rubbish over there just on that step. But also, I don't want to have that platform in. I want it to be more natural. So that's kind of why I'm focusing on that. Let's go vertical. See if I can achieve what I want to achieve on a vertical. See, this is one of the reasons why I want the L bracket. I'd rather have my camera there and then turned up instead of trying to turn it off to the side. Alright, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go low. Yeah, to sit down for this one, guys. because of um, I'm going to recrop it a little bit because on on this ang side you can see a bit of a waterfall coming in so I'm just going to clean up that edge by just bringing it in a little bit like when I crop it I'll probably crop it like that in post maybe that yeah probably like that in post but right now that's just gonna stay open wide. Um, maybe that's a bit better of a thing. All right, so I'm just working and uh, trying to organize it all. This looks quite nice. So, all right, well, let's get this get a test shot and see how it goes two, the two stops under on this one we'll just take a shot and we'll see I'm on f8 0.8 of a second ISO 50 And it looks really nice. We might try and bring up the exposure a little bit. Too far. Let's try that.
Yeah, it looks not bad. Alright, so let's... That looks quite good. Alright, let's zoom in. Wow. Yeah, I'm actually quite glad to come down here because I do enjoy that one, but really, boom. So you got them coming down to that one. Looks good. Even though I'm up high and it probably looks better down low. Um, yeah, I still I still like it. Oh, ankles hurting. Alright, so I'll fire a couple more off. I'm just so I got a few in the and um, the card to have a look when I get home. So I'm just playing around with um, the actual time of the shutter. Not worried about, today I'm not really worried about the exposure being two stops under because um, I really want to see what I can edit these photos to when I get home. Um, Just want to see what the oh the mozzies. I just really want to see what the um, the ability of this camera is to bring back the shadows and bring back an image from a slightly darker. Alright, I think that'll do for down here. I'm going to go up to the top of the waterfall and um, we'll uh, have a look at the ones up there. Alright guys, we'll see you up there. So here we are guys. Just got to be very careful of the edge, you don't want to fall. Alright, but here we are, we're at the top of the falls. Some pretty cool little areas up here. Some small waterfalls. Let's have a look in the viewfinder see what it looks like. Oh. Yeah.
just a pretty simple shot that no like that's that's just as much as gimme as it comes like you don't really have to work for that one very simple just get it in nice frame and boom that's the shot all right well i'm gonna do a little bit of a video on my phone for a reel um and then we'll move up there so once i've done this guys see he's up there all right just gotta be careful here i don't want to slip Got to be very careful. Oh, she's flowing up here. All right. I feel like a kid again in here. And there's. There's probably so many different photos you could take in here. You could spend pretty much an hour or two just in here taking photos. You know, like a little flow here that you can play with. A little flow there you can play with. So you got another little flow there. You got another one there. You got a flow there you can play with. There's a flow over the back which we're gonna walk across here and then go up there. There's another waterfall up the back. So there is a lot you could do in this area. I probably don't want to stay here much more longer because it is it's almost 7.30. Uh, we're gonna start getting more and more people here soon. But um, I'm gonna go for a walk over there, over to that waterfall over there and see how it looks and um might get a shot over there taking shots over there before but i'm just trying to be careful oh. in the water you probably can't see it but there's a little eel it's in there a little freshwater eel going about his business going about his day i'll leave him alone It is cool to watch him, but I'm not going to hurt him. I'm not going to do anything. He probably thinks I can't see him, but I know he's, I know he's there. That's cool. Nature. I love it. Love being out in nature. All right. Easy. All this has been cleaned up and washed. Would have been a lot of raging water coming through here this week. So... Last time I was up here, this was pretty small. It wasn't like this. So, easy. Oh, this is gorgeous up here. Awesome is that? I reckon the photo's here somewhere. Maybe here, point it there and have I have the top coming down into the shot. Alright, I'll set it up and I'll bring these back. Give me a second. So that's the shot. I'm just taking it. <laughs> First shot. Don't even want to do any more. That is amazing. I love it. It looks great on the back of the camera. So 
<laughs> knows what it looks like when I get back home, but wow, what a shot. So that one was shot at 0.8 of a second, F8, and it was uh, two stops under, and yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys, I uh, walked all right around the front of the camera, but just seen another eel in here. Here doing my thing, just doing what I do, taking my photos and there's another eel down there. He's underneath the rock. <laughs> I love it. Nature's awesome guys, nature is really great. And if you can get in amongst it, do it. I got the morning off from work. That's why I come and done this POV uh, video with you guys. And yeah, it's just getting in amongst this. So, uh, all right. That is, that is something, something else. Gives a very dreamy sort of feel to that image. So, I'm going to get another reel of this one, and uh, yeah, that means I'm going to have like five reels, five reels, five shorts for the channel plus this video, all off one video, wow, one adventure, oh, yeah man, what a great morning, I'm so glad I got out of bed and come and done this. Wow. Alright, I'm going to probably pack up and head back up towards the car and I'll talk to you in a sec. Well guys, that is it. What a morning. Couldn't have think of a better place to be early in the morning. Pretty much had the waterfalls to myself. Another photographer was there and it was nice to talk to her and chat about the camera that she was using because that was my old camera well not my personal old camera but the camera that I just upgraded from and I am amazed with the Sony a7 IV at the moment it is doing phenomenal things some photos that I did yesterday I edited last night for some really nice photos some were just dumb luck photos but the camera did amazing so but that's it for this video guys don't forget share this video out to all your friends and family hopefully they enjoy it too comment below what you thought of the POV style video I'm gonna do some more of them and hopefully I get better at it so let me know in the comments what you liked and let's try and build a community and enjoy the nature of wherever i go whether it's nature whether it's uh, portrait whether it's whatever let's let's build a community and have some good comments down below and uh hey if you think i've done something wrong put it in the comments below tell me so anyway guys stay safe give your hug, uh, loved ones a hug for me and i'll see you on the next vlog video cheers guys <laughs>